Hello and welcome to this brief introduction on Kazam screen recorder. On my left hand side you can see the basic Kazam window. The main window has two main options screencast and screenshot. Each of these options have four common options full screen, all screen, windows and area. The screenshot as the name suggests will capture either full screen or any window or the area which you will select. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will see the options available with screencast. The full screen option will capture the default resolution of your screen and will capture end to end all windows. The next option is grayed out as I haven't connected any external monitor or projector with this computer. The third option when selected will capture a window and it will record only the portion of window it will record only the area within that window for example if I select window option again and if I click anywhere on this file browser it will only capture within the boundaries of file browser the last option is widely used which is area you get this cross wire and you can click and drag to select the portion of area you want So once done, you can hit enter to confirm and Kazam will remember the area. We have few more switches here which says mouse cursor, sound from speakers and sound from microphone. For purpose of this tutorial, we will select the cursor recording and microphone, sound from microphone. The last option has wait before capturing. So this will show a countdown splash which will allow you to settle down before the recording begins. We have few advanced options under the file menu. Under preferences, we have three main tabs, general, screencast and screenshot. Under general tabs, we have option for speakers and microphone selection. The speakers are the default speakers connected to this computer and microphone are the list of microphones which are connected to this machine. So both of these can be controlled using this drop down. The so countdown splash which we have seen on the main interface can be controlled using this switch. So let me make it on and let's move to the next tab screencast. Under screencast it is divided into two options frame rate and record width and some file saving options. We will select the automatic file saving option so that the Kazam will automatically render the file and save it in my home directory with file prefix Kazam underscore screencast. The first option says how many frames we want per second. The number of frames will decide the smoothness in the video and the file size. The lower the frame rate, the lower the file size. There are other options of output file format. We will select VP8 which is a free file format. There are other options such as MP4, RAW, AVI and etc. The third option is screenshot and the first option under the screenshot is different which says the shutter sound on or off and shutter type as Nikon or Canon. So this is not required for our recording. So we have the file saving option same as screencast in screenshot. So let me close this preference window and start the capture. You can see the countdown splash and once it hits zero, we are ready to go. So as you remember, we have started recording a portion of window. And at the tray icon, you can see the Kazam shows a camera icon with red dot that means it is started it has started recording we can easily finish the recording by clicking the finish button once done the kazam will automatically save the file to my home directory there are other options to control the recording of kazam which are the keyboard shortcuts the super is the windows key In my file browser, I can have this 
Kazam screencast with WebM file extension which we have selected in our drop down. As you can see our playback begins with the selected window size. I press Q to quit M player and let me minimize this window. So that's all. This is how we record a simple video using Kazam screen recorder. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.